In 2007, Pete Carell led a successful campaign to save Grady Hospital. He formed and served as chair of the Grady Memorial Hospital Corporation, a nonprofit created to provide financial stability and leadership to our Atlanta institution. But the story of Pete Carell's investment in Grady's transformation begins with what sounds like a one-liner. Two guys walk into a bar. Well, Pete and I are friends and, um, and had worked together in the past, and so we made it a point of getting together, you know, every couple weeks. So we were having a, a cocktail at um, the Ritz-Carlton downtown. and We were just talking about things, and I said I had the damnedest experience. He was telling me about his tour, he and Ada Lee's tour at Grady Hospital. And I said, you know, I've run businesses my whole life, and based on what I saw, Grady's in trouble. The situation was dire. Um, so as we talked and made the mistake of ordering a second drink, uh, we came to the conclusion. <laughs> we decided we ought to try to do something about it. Tom and Pete then called upon their good friend Michael Russell to help build a diverse coalition and to rebuild Grady's prominence as a leading academic safety net hospital. I know you have to have certain things to make an institution viable. One, you have to have confidence in leadership. You know, you have to have a governance structure that works. You have to have people who, who believe in leadership so they'll invest in the hospital. And he inspired us. We, you'd hear him talk, and it wasn't one liners. It was a full story. It was what could be, what could happen, what ought to happen. There's never a doubt in my mind that he wouldn't fix it um, and that he wouldn't be all in. Well, before Grady came along, um, and he had left George Pacific, he'd retired, and um, he was worried. You know, it's like, well, what am I going to do? And I happened to say, you know what, Pete? I don't think God is finished with you yet. So he came home. When he came home to tell me, he says, I think God figured it out. You know? <laughs> Pete Carell was born and raised in Brunswick, Georgia, and got his first taste of business at the age of 12 when his father died and he went to work at the family men's clothing store. An only child raised by his cherished mother, Elizabeth, he next went off to Georgia Tech on a golf scholarship. And as Pete picks up his story, Absolutely hated it. There weren't any girls there. And trans transferred to Georgia, had a wonderful time, met Ada Lee, started in the forest products industry, moved all over the country, worked for three different companies before I came to Georgia Pacific in 1988. So that's me. I can tell pretty, pretty early on he was different, special. He could not only motivate, but inspire at the same time. And you put those things together with the right people. Uh, you get results. I, I love Pete dearly, and and there are times when when he's been in tough situations and have said some things that have made me as a lawyer cringe. He does not have a filter, and there are many times that we wish he had a filter. You know, when we had the chamber task force, they said, "What is our strategy?" And I said, "To have another meeting." When we took over the hospital, they said, "What is your strategy?" And I said, "To open the doors again tomorrow." <laughs> He is such a breath of fresh air because he is who he is and there are no refinements about him. He just says what he wants to say, but he says it. he's clever and he's smart. And so when he says it, you listen very carefully to what he has to, has to say. Grady is so important to Atlanta and Atlanta is so important to dad. We have lost in the last two decades many major public hospitals uh, comparable to Grady around the country. D.C. General Hospital closed. Philadelphia General Hospital no longer exists. Milwaukee General Hospital is closed. St. Louis Hospital, Martin Luther King Hospital in Los Angeles, all because of financial pressures and difficulties in operations. So the story of Grady Hospital is very different from the story in many other metropolitan areas around the country. So that's this contribution that Pete has made to Atlanta, to Grady, and to the citizens of our, our city. And I just could appreciate that here was a gentleman who had retired from one big job of responsibility that he had at Georgia Pacific to now say, what can I do for Grady? And I have to tell you, he worked day and night. Not only did he bring leadership um, and examples of leadership, but he also brought expectations of performance into Grady. I think what I've learned about leadership, I've learned from watching him. And the biggest thing is you got to be yourself. And what you see with that is what you get. 
I've seen with my own eyes. Nobody has to tell me. And if it were not for that board, if it were not for the CEO, if it were not for Pete Corral, I just don't believe that Grady would be the Grady that it is. The other thing that makes Pete a great leader is that he has a great partner in Ada Lee. And when you get two for one, so when uh, you get uh, Pete, you certainly get Ada Lee supporting him in every way. He is able to do what he is able to do because of the support that she gives to him. They have figured out a way to be a very strong couple, but also have their individual identity, and that is very important to me. I always say, you know, my, I'm my mom's biggest fan, and I don't actually think that's true. I think he's her biggest fan, and I think that she is his biggest fan. Pete, thank you. We're proud of you and appreciate you. Thank you not only for having the courage um, and the wisdom and the ability uh, to step up and to um, save such an incredibly cherished public entity such as Grady, um, but thank you also for placing the trust in me um, to work alongside you to make that happen. Thank you for the leadership you've given to Grady Hospital and to the city. Thank you for being Pete Carell, the person who doesn't run away from a challenge. Thank you so very much for who you are, what you have done, and the incredible difference that you have made here at Grady. Pete, thank you so much for what you've done for everybody. Thank you, Pete. I believe that God has called you for such a time as this. As he called Esther, he called Pete Corral. Thank you for your compassion, your integrity, and your love for people. Pete Corral would be the first to say that we are not the sole inhabitants of our communities. He has shown that each of us can grow our business, support our cause, and turn our success into significance. By being determined, honest, and authentic, he has demonstrated what true leadership looks like. In saving Grady, he not only rescued a cherished institution, he restored the health and well-being of an entire region. He showed us that legacy isn't someday, legacy is now. Atlanta can't live without Grady, and Grady could not have lived without Pete Carell.